हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग वेल सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी गोना डिस्कस अबाउट थ्री पॉइंट पर्सपेक्टिव हाउ वी गोना क्रिएट एनी थिंग्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट पर्सपेक्टिव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गाइस आई एम गोना डिस्कस द इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट्स व्हिच यू नीड टू ऑलवेज कीप इन माइंड व्हेन एवर यू आर यूजिंग थ्री पॉइंट पर्सपेक्टिव सो लेट्स स्टार्ट गाइस As you can see on the screen, I draw a roughly city view so that you can understand how it works. So, whenever you want to use the three-point perspective, always remember that in the three-point perspective. Firstly, I am differentiate the things. So in the third point perspective, we have and the things which we don't have. Like one and two point perspective. Here we have three. vanishing point as in the two point perspective we use two point to vanishing point in the one point second is one vanishing point so in the three point perspective there is three vanishing point okay and the things which we don't have is there is no horizontal line And there is no vertical line. Okay. And horizontal line and vertical line will be decided by. vanishing point so these are the points which you always keep in mind whenever you use third point perspective so let's come to the practical work so here as you can see i have decided to get three vanishing points So one vanishing point is here, the second one is here, and the third one is out of my workplace. Why I keep it out of the workplace? I'm gonna show you practically. So right now I am just decrease the opacity of this rough line, and you can see here easily that with the help of these three vanishing point I have drawn. the city view so here i am giving you the new example how we gonna create this so if your vanishing point two is here one is here and third one is here it's up to you either you can keep the Vanishing point one outside of your workplace, or maybe two. It's up to you. It's not necessary that three. It's not necessary that the third vanishing point is always out of the workplace. It may be one, maybe two. And now, I want to draw a city view so you can see the diagonal line. I draw it with the help of vanishing point two. With the help of vanishing point one, I will draw the another vanish diagonal line, which will meet the vanishing point. And after that, the intersection point from where we will draw 
a third line which will be made with our vanishing point third which is out of my tool as you can see here easily guys and it's up to you what you actually want to draw I, I'm getting the building cityscape here so the second vertical line will be drawn with the version point three again and same as with the another one now you understand why I created this rough line in the background so that I can draw exactly straight line to create our city scheme and now you can eliminate the wanted line which we don't want so you can see it easily so the basic structure of all buildings ready to go same you can use for the another building again use the vanishing point to draw diagonal line then the third one will be help of vanishing point one it's up to you if you want to match this diagonal line with your vanishing point or not but i'm just getting the reference so i already draw the rough line in the background and it is opacity so that I can understand how it's going on Now I want to make my cityscape more interesting so what I will do I will create more building just behind the another one so you can do the same with the help of vanishing point 2 then vanishing point and after that You can take any reference if you have or you can draw it with your own imagination but in the learning stage i would suggest you get the reference from youtube or from google or any images or maybe the live example for your cityscapes like in which city you are living so that you can create anything with the This original work. Try to create your own stuff instead of copying uh, someone's artwork. Always try to create your own. So now you can see here easily how our structure is going on. Same things I will do for the third one get the reference then vanishing point one vanishing point third Don't be scared, your line is more diagonal, I feel like the building is getting fall. But everything will be decided by your vanishing point. So whenever you are drawing anything, just be confident and go with the flow. Now you can see here, it's 
little bit weird for me because I feel like I am doing some mistakes but to be honest it's going in the right way just need to match this one from here and after that you can draw a new line just with the third vanishing point this one will go down again like this the vanishing point 2 and I will follow the vanishing point 2 one sorry vanishing point 3 here and here so you can easily understand how it works so guys this one was a little bit tricky you can understand but i am just following my vanishing point so that it goes in the right direction and now instead of going in this direction i would prefer to go this direction now so just create the same things your building stuff like this with the vanishing point two <coughs> then vanishing point one and vanishing point Same for the last one, I'm gonna create even more stuff. Like this. But for the ancient point one, it doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna for the ancient point three here. And vanishing point to one is will work like this way a little bit, not too much. So you always have to try how it's gonna work. Always use all the vanishing point. Don't take sad decisions because a little mistake can destroy your all design. So here is my vanishing point two, and you can see the final result if you want to make it more dynamic just create a building behind the other one so i'm just gonna create one more stuff here like the machine point third machine point two machine point one Again, vanishing point third, vanishing point third, vanishing point two, vanishing point one, vanishing point third. So here is the final result of our artwork. If you can see here, how I created. All the building stuff with the help of third point perspective if you want to add some more detail it's up to you you can draw that things and even you can draw a highway or whatever you want like i'm gonna create highway here So that it looks more dynamic and interesting. Same things you can use here. But always, always, always follow your vanishing point. 
you can see here and you can delete extra unwanted things from your drawing stuff as you can see here firstly I'm gonna delete the unwanted things and then I'm gonna draw it again so you just delete all the stuff and then use the vanishing point get your own street so it will go like this way this one will come from here to here and finally our job is ready if you wanna add some more details here so you can do it by yourself just add some little detail as i already told you always remember when you go closer to the vanishing point your distance and size will decrease so always keep in mind so that your artwork looks more dynamic and now for the window and the other details you can use vanishing point as i told you just follow the rules that's it and you can copy stuff if you want it's easier for you yes you can do it easily but at the end you have to decrease its size as well or one of the best way i will suggest you select everything make a group and then copy your stuff gonna be easier always remember that each and every part of your artwork must follow the vanishing point and it should be clear like this one like if I draw something here it will go like this direction then this one and add the distance between the window will decrease as you go down so that you create the exact depth of your artwork same thing you can do here as well create a window with the help of vanishing point and then just follow your artwork you can see I'm not going to create all the things right now but I would suggest you always follow the basic shapes perspective vanishing point and create your own stuff as you can see on the screen 
so you can create whatever you want to make your stuff more interesting like here i'm going to use these things this here i'm going to use window like this shape this one If you don't follow your vanishing point, your artwork looks peculiar. Always try to create your artwork with the help of vanishing point. Now I'm going to create the interior of the window as you can see here so that I can add some depth and mirror stuff like this way same thing you can do here but it will go like this way as i already told you we are using three point perspective so the angle always change with the help of vanishing point so you can notice one thing here we use the upper angle but here we have shown the lower one same it's up to you how you gonna use it you can see here So guys if you follow the rule properly you will create your amazing artwork never hesitate to follow the rules always stick with the vanishing point perspective angles and the key whatever you want in these directions also i will follow my perspective So I am just following my two point perspective and three point perspective. If you didn't watch my the earlier video how to create city view with the help of two point perspective, with the help of one point perspective. So I suggest you to watch my video so that you can understand the third one also. And even instead of the city scale, you can create whatever you want. I hope you understand all the things how it works and how we can create amazing city scale with the help of two point perspective. If you wanna add more details, you can do that easily. But always keep in mind as we go further, the detailing will decrease so that our eyes stuck here and we add minor detail in the back as you can see here how i am working but i am always following perspective every lines i draw with the help of vanishing point so don't forget to do that
So finally, our LCD screen is ready. You can see everything is done in the proper way. Now, if I want, I can add a little bit shadow in the back. So that my art form looks more interesting. But always remember to follow one point perspective, two point perspective, three point perspective, whatever you are using. So guys, our final artwork is ready. If you have any query related to artwork, three point perspective, or two point perspective, so please ask me in the comment section. I hope you understand how you can use third point perspective and how it works exactly. So thank you guys, thanks for your support. Do like, share, and subscribe my channel. If you have any query related to any perspective when drawing the storyboard, please ask me in the comment section so that we can solve your issue as per your requirements. So, thanks guys. Have a good one.